Hello dear learners and students, I hope you are doing great and having good health. This video is about the factors which is affecting directly or indirectly the photosynthesis and uh, these factors are divided into two categories which is external and internal and of course you know that this is the fourth video of photosynthesis in my previous videos I uploaded the process of photosynthesis and then light dependent phase and then light independent phase and of course you know that uh, in the process of photosynthesis sunlight and chlorophyll is definitely required and carbon dioxide and water is reacting and so that the glucose or carbohydrate is producing and also as a byproduct we are getting oxygen to breathe so right now we need to understand that what are the factors is affecting photosynthesis directly or indirectly so based on these two categories we see that there are some external factors which is affecting photosynthesis and also there are some internal factors which have some sort of uh, sort of activities on uh, photosynthesis so if we see first the first external factors why this video or tutorial is required because students of English versions those who are studying in ACC level biology or O level biology you know that there are some MCQ which is available in your question paper that on that persons maybe these options are available in your MCQ questions or multiple choice questions so first time you see that this is number one light the light is a factor which is external and is immensely uh, connected with the photosynthesis without sunlight without sunlight or photon uh, the photosynthesis process will not be carried out and for that reason we know that usually what is happening around 480 nanometer or even 680 nanometer wavelength of light is required for photosynthesis and you know already that that there are some wavelength in the photosynthesis process in the light when it's about 400 to 480 nanometer or even 680 to 700 nanometer and you know that one nanometer is about 10 to the power minus 9 meter so this is a very tiny uh, smaller distance so a 480 nanometer and 680 nanometer around this wavelength is falling to the leaf or in the mesophyll tissues then then the rate of photosynthesis will be increasing so this amount of wavelength is required carbon dioxide this is also an external factor which is affecting a photosynthesis as because we know that in our atmosphere in our atmosphere like 0.03% carbon dioxide can be and in running, running earth I mean in this time uh, the production of carbon dioxide is huge so that it may vary that 0.03% but but it can vary up to 1% of carbon dioxide if in this atmosphere there are 1% concentration of carbon dioxide the leaves or the mesophyll tissues can occupy and can run this photosynthesis process but if the carbon dioxide level gets more than one percent then the rate of photosynthesis will definitely decrease so there is a re associations and relations between the photosynthesis process and carbon dioxide and of course you know that this carbon dioxide leaves or mesophyll tissues or chlorophyll except from the atmosphere through the stomata and you know that there are two space the upper layer and lower layer in the lower layer there are some pores which is called stomata and through this stomata carbon dioxide enters to the leaf for taking part of photosynthesis so this is 0.03 percent which is normal percentage right now in atmosphere but it can vary to till the extreme level is one percent and then if process one percent then the rate of photosynthesis will decrease again temperature in case of temperature you must know that uh, less than one degree celsius less than one degree celsius to less than even it crosses to like more than 45 degrees celsius in both cases 
in both cases the rate of photosynthesis will decrease I mean if it's less than one degree it can vary actually in even zero degrees Celsius the rate of uh, photosynthesis will definitely decrease so the optimum temperature the optimum temperature for photosynthesis is more or less 22 to 35 degree Celsius and this range of temperature will have the more uh, capacity to have a photosynthesis so temperature is also a factor an external factor in case of water you know that you know that if if there is no water photosynthesis won't I mean it, it can't going on it can be carried out because if there is any scarcity of water then the stomata will be flaccid and so that uh, the overall photosynthesis process will be disrupted so water is a very important external factor oxygen definitely and there is a thing like that oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis but in case of photosynthesis we know the reactions is going on between carbon dioxide and water but if oxygen level increased maybe the photosynthesis level can be decreased so it depends on the balance in the earth I mean that is why photosynthesis is very very important because oxygen is is I mean oxygen is absorbed by the whole living kingdoms like animal kingdom and carbon, carbon dioxide is being uh, carried out through the respiration process so there is a balance in between oxygen and carbon dioxide through this process photosynthesis and respiration that is why in in, in an ascendance we can say that if oxygen levels grow up then the photosynthesis can be decreased in case of minerals we must know that magnesium nitrogen and iron is required for for the synthesis of chlorophyll that means you know that chlorophyll the structural formula of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B in both cases these these minerals are required so if there is an, any scarcity or lacking of these minerals from the source definitely photosynthesis process will be affecting and this is reversibly so if this minerals is available in lands then the photosynthesis rate will be higher in case of chemical substance definitely definitely we know that in the atmosphere if chloroform hydrogen sulfide methane like chcl3 hydrogen sulfide methane this is some poisonous gas so if this type of poisonous gas increased in the atmosphere then of course the rate of photosynthesis will decrease so these chemical substance also have some affections like uh, in case of uh, photosynthesis process so chloroform hydrogen sulfide methane like poisonous gas if they increase in the atmosphere the rate of photosynthesis will be decreased so these are the external factors that affects photosynthesis so you please think about again that the external factors is light carbon dioxide temperature water oxygen minerals and chemical substance and right now if you look in the internal factors A's and numbers of leaf this is also important to know that uh, the middle-aged leaf of a plants middle-aged is uh, responsible for more photosynthesis because the number of chlorophyll the number of chlorophyll is less in case of the primary level leaf and even old leaf so in this case you must remember one thing that middle aged leaf is uh, having more number of chlorophyll and of course if the number of leaves is higher the rate of photosynthesis is also higher so this is actually in case of age it would be middle aged so we can say that middle aged leaf will have more rate of photosynthesis and in case of number of leaves if there is more number of leaves so lots of chlorophyll are there so the photosynthesis process will be definitely increasing amount of carbohydrate so we know that chlorophyll will also store the, this product substance like carbohydrate for the photosynthesis process if the accumulation of carbohydrate is higher then the photosynthesis process is slow down so usually what happen in the evening the accumulation of carbohydrate is almost done so in the evening usually the rate of photosynthesis is lessened 
in case of potassium this is very important because potassium helps potassium helps to to increase the rate of photosynthesis so more potassium more photosynthesis and of course enzymes which is very important internal factors in photosynthesis you know that in case of photosynthesis lots of enzymes number of enzymes is required to process down because you see already in c3 cycle and also in c4 cycle there are a lot of enzymes is required so more enzymes is available then the rate of photosynthesis will be higher up so these are the external and internal factors which is affecting photosynthesis so for you again the internal factors are age and number of leaves amount of carbohydrate potassium and enzymes and these are the external factors so i hope you understand and please remember one thing do not leave any lines of your book especially in physics chemistry and biology never leaves because if you don't understand, it's it's not a good sign in case of your higher education. So when you go up to your levels and then in, in the university levels and then after that, so definitely each and every information is required, each and every import information is important. So I hope you understand and you enjoy your study and of course, please let me know your, your feedback and your uh, recommendations. Take care. Stay well. Bye.